Welcome beautiful ladies and gentlemen and here in this video I am going to walk you through the process I used in designing this awesome piece of flyer you are seeing right here in Photoshop. Okay fam, so at the end of this video you should um, learn different style or way in designing a church flyer. Okay, so without wasting much time, let's dive right into the video so what i'm going to do after creating my page is to create a gradient fill to fill the page like this okay i already have my gradient set and this is what i did to just fill the page with color so this is a radar gradient and i have created it so what i did is to bring this texture if you don't know texture kindly go to google or pinterest to and type in the search engine texture and you see more results so i brought in this texture made it fit to the page like that and gave it a nice blend mode that will make it blend into the background okay and soft light is doing everything for us and this is okay from there i didn't like how sharp it is looking so i just wanted it to blend so that i make it soft so i blend it to a radius radius of five pixels like that and this is how we got it looking on the page like that so from there i brought in this image just as you are seeing it i love how rough and um, pixelated it is looking okay i just love how it is looking and i use it so what i'm doing is to get a good angle and i'm positioning it to my liking and this is what i am settling with so I'm making a bit of an adjustment just as you're seeing and this is okay all right guys so from there I'll just get a nice blend mode just to make this handsome man or image blend into the background and this we are settling with luminosity and from there you give it a layer mask it's layer a layer mask and take your brush tool sorry for how my brush tool is appearing um, it's because of my recorder sorry about that but I'm using a brush tool to brush off the bottom of the image okay so this is what we are getting so far so this is how I create most of my backgrounds so this is a um, silk like texture okay I don't know but it makes the design look more saturated okay so from there I'm going to put the blend mode on the blend mode that will make it feel saturated and um, you're going with multiply it makes it feel saturated in a dark way just as you are seeing it so this is way cool and I like it so much from there I just want to blend it out so that it looks more soft like soften like that so I'm playing it out um, a little bit more so um, somewhere about um, 13 to 14 pixels so 13 pixels is okay like that and I am good so this is okay for now all right guys so this is more like the background of our work so this is um, the backstage we are going to work on so this is where everything is going to build up from so this is called the background so I'm just grouping all the layers and naming it background because it is the backstage of our entire design so this is the woman of God okay our model actually this is supposed to be at the center so I'm just positioning her at the center of the page not all that big but in a um, moderate way okay so this is okay and from there I gave it a layer mask and I brushed off the bottom I brought in this man of God and I positioned him behind um, the first lady and then I brought in the other man uh, the other man of God okay I positioned them all behind the first lady and this is cool so from there I just always give um, some brightening okay to the men of God or the models I use just to make them look attractive and nice okay on the page so this is what I'm going to do I am just increasing and decreasing okay the um, effects or features in the camera or features okay this makes you um, look good and come out professional in your works as a graphic designer okay in this field alright so when you're done following my tactics okay um, 
you just hit ok in the camera filter and you're good i'm just applying the same effect or features onto the other men of god and uh and this is easy to do okay guys i didn't want us to waste more time on um doing the camera roll features all right so i got this bob image from pinterest and what i'm going to do is to arrange them first all over the page and jump into um, um their effects that are supposed to be done okay on them all right guys i'm just positioning it right here because i want it to be at that spot you are seeing it so this is way cool and i just duplicated it all over the page and i'm just positioning it around it okay and this should go right behind the men of god all of them like that i duplicated it and that is what you are seeing so from there um i'll just give a layer mask oops i just create a new layer okay and take a color orange color okay and this is what i'm going to do i don't like how bright the uh, bulb is looking so i want to give it a different feel so i just i'm going to brush this orange on a new layer and just change the blend mode okay to color burn so that gives us this harsh effect okay it is too harsh but then you can reduce the opacity or feel okay mostly it should reduce the feel just to make it light and then clip mask it okay create a clipping mask onto the bulb below it just so that it doesn't slip off okay the brightness or the color doesn't slip off onto some other part of the design so i made a duplicate and just send it the duplicate onto the other bulb and this is way easy so i'm going to make duplicates and send them to the other bulbs okay which are needed okay and this is what um, i ended with so from there i created this dark shade below it just to make the bulb hide in the dark shade below at the bottom like that and i created some brightness okay using the same color and putting the color on a color mode or uh, on a screen blending mode sorry okay just to make it bright okay and this is pretty easy all right guys so i just created some backlight okay um on them actually behind the man of god just as you're seeing it just so that they feel like there is some light coming out of there um, before the actual image without the light was looking too down and it wasn't activating okay so i just brought it in just so that it looks activating and captivating okay this is way cool all right guys so we can feel some sun shining behind our man of god so this is way cool let's proceed all right guys so i'm actually grouping um the lights we just created and um, this is our backstage light so backlight all right guys this is pretty easy so one thing you should note in creating church flyers are um, the positioning of the elements so you should first position your elements the way you want them before applying every effect on them so as you can see I brought in the background i created the background first and i brought in the man of god and i brought in the pop and you can see it was progressing in that manner okay so um if you know this you can um, actually bring out good designs i think um and no one and, and i believe you bring out good designs if you follow this pattern first know and um, actually um first um creates the pattern okay or there should be layout your layout okay of your man of god just so that um it doesn't confuse you or you don't run out of um creativity okay so this is way cool um this is just creating the text okay the grease text and it is simple okay simple as that all i did is to go into the layer style and create a stroke okay a stroke with a dark color which is um this deep brown is it deep red also so just as you're seeing it so deep brown like that um just to make it feel not like boring 
that's where it is so this is way cool so this is the grace text I have created at the top and from there I'll just create um, the shape okay below it because I created a shape below it and I wrote the text inside of it so this is the shape I created and this is how you, you create the shape you take the shape tool and you create the shape so like that it's pretty easy so from there I actually um, give the shape a, a gradient feel okay which was a linear gradient feel but then um, I'm just um, tilting the shape a little bit like that making sure to position it at the spot like that okay guys so let's box on I'll just go into the layer layer style and give it a gradient overlay like that a linear gradient just as you are seeing it okay farms so this is my gradient um, colors like that and we are good to go a deep and a light color in the same zone okay just as you are seeing it all right guys i hit okay because i'm actually done and we are good to go so from here all i'm going to do is to add the text to the shape okay and actually i'm going to speed out from here okay where i added the details okay just so that we don't waste much time in writing the details over and over again okay so let's uh, box on all right guys so as you can see my men of God are brightened because of the sun um, image I actually the sun effect I have created on them I used the color yellow and I just brushed it at the spot where I wanted the sun effect to be and I placed um, the plane mode on screen just so that it brights it out okay the screen will do the effect when you put the color on it okay so that is it all right guys so the blending and act everything is just working out good because of um, the arrangement okay I went step by step because I just want each and everyone to grab okay something out of it how to create the background was pretty easy it was a step by step okay you just um, have to get the materials used in the resources and follow along okay so this is how I created it and just as you're seeing it it is really easy okay farms so this is it the location and when you are creating a church flyer or a poster like this you shouldn't forget your location your time actually the important one is the team because uh, it is very important and everyone wants to know what exactly um, are we going to engage in not the designers but um, the viewers actually the members that will be attending the program okay you are creating it for so you should always pay attention as a graphic designer to the details and um, certain vital informations that are being given to you by the customer or your customers okay farms so after creating the details or writing the details I just decided to write down the I love you guys and this um, I am going to leave a PSD file of this flyer okay in the description to be downloaded for free okay I love you all guys um, I really don't have time to be posting nowadays because of my schedule I have been busy a little bit okay but then um, I'll be posting okay right now I am just going to uh, remove some um, busy lines out of my schedule to have time for you guys here on YouTube okay guys so for now I just want to use this PSD as a uh, point of contact to apologize to you all deep down in my heart I'm really sorry for not posting all this while okay farms so if you want the PSD link is right in the description if you get to this point of the video just go and download the PSD to this beautiful artwork okay farms and um, don't forget to like and subscribe to um, promote and then um, increase our channel
okay farms I love you all so from there I'm just going to add um, the names and their positions so do not forget you should always add the names of the men of God or the models not actually models the characters in the flyer okay so in every flyer like that contains um, images of people you should actually identify them by either their positions or their positions and their names okay because this will really make it easy for everyone to know um, their rank okay one, one, one is going to be a prophet one is going to be the host one is going to be a organizer so that they know um, who is leading the program in that sequence okay farms so this is the host I duplicated it and then um, sent it to the other man just so that uh, it makes it uh, his bonafide property over there so this is what you're seeing and then I just duplicated it sent in there and just changed the name okay farms alright guys so this is the outlook this is everything we, we, we have done on the page and I mean about the addition of the text okay so the details we actually done I just grouped everything about the text and shape and that is it just to make our layers easy to access alright guys from there I took my shape tool and I'm going to create this ascent, ascent shape at the top like top Canada just as you're seeing it and I'm going to make the roundness very rounded okay just very rounded that's what I lose interesting all right guys so this is it so this roundness is too small I'm just going to increase it a bit more just to make it very interesting to the eyes guys all right guys so this is it you can change the color or you can leave it like that it, is, it doesn't spoil anything on the flyer but um, it just makes it more interesting all right guys so this is it this is what we have created at the top all right guys it is a step-by-step -step procedure and um, you will see the outlook okay the outlook of the flyer which is like this to be difficult but if you break it down if you go down step by step um, it is not that difficult okay so from um, creating everything on the flyer I just increase the colors by uh, going to the camera or filter just as you are seeing it and adding some few um, touches to the features here just to make it bright and just as you are seeing it so I'm touching the features step by step and increasing it and decreasing it to my liking okay just play along with the features you are seeing right here and um, you get to the right touches you like okay all right guys so I actually created this and um, this ship effect okay on the flyer that was uh, some afterward effect afterwards effect afterwards okay so this is what you are seeing I'm going to give it a white color because uh, it's supposed to be white it was looking glossy and um, it made it look like a glass crack and this is how I made it I created a layer mask on this shape I have created okay and took my gradients too so all I'm going to do is to create it from the bottom so all I'm going to do is take the um, transparent gradient which is this and just create it from the bottom like this okay so this is what I'm getting and I'll create it a bit more like that just to make it look um, somehow light glossy like this so all I'm going to do is to position it onto the page and this is pretty easy so welcome to the end of the video farms and I really love and appreciate your effort for clicking to watch this video and um, thank you for forgiving me as well alright guys if you love this video don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe button and also don't forget to turn on the post notification just so that you'll be notified anytime I drop a new video farms love you all it's simplicity here and um, I'm out peace guys